A speaker that's come to Australia before and to um, New Zealand is uh, Richard Johnson, and I really take a scientific view of diets. And and he he's sort of an evolutionary biologist, so he's learned from animals the whole issue about how diet impacts physiology, studying hummingbirds and bears and so on. But he's transferred that through to humans. And in Australia, there's another guy called David Raubenheimer. He's not a particular low-carb advocate, but he does understand the impacts of diet on the organism. And this is his um, uh, geometry of nutrition, which I use as a, as a way of understanding the balance of macronutrients. And the idea here is if you change the fat content of a diet or the carb content of the diet, it has an impact on you, whether you gain weight, whether you develop a fatty liver. And this is the summary of about 16 human studies looking at how, how the different macronutrient contents change your weight and your risk of fatty liver. And so if we look um, at increasing protein, as you increase protein, you're more likely to lose weight got a low protein diet, you're more likely to gain weight and develop a fatty liver in these studies. If you're um, increasing fat, so as you increase fat, well, fat on its own doesn't really cause a weight gain or a weight loss. It's more related to carbs and protein. So high fat on its own doesn't really do anything. It's the, it's the other nutrients like carbs and protein which really influence this uh, physiology and balance. And then carbs, they're on the diagonal, so increasing amount of carbs does move you from that weight loss to, into that weight gain, but on the diagonal, if you like. So low, high carb diets are more likely to be weight gain and fatty liver and low-carb diets are more likely to be in the blue zone, the cool zone of weight loss and no fatty liver. Now, at the risk of uh, elevating uh, meta-analysis to uh, a gold standard, generally low-carbs in a meta-analysis do exactly what Raubenheimer describes. Low-carb diets lead to weight loss. And low-carb diets uh, also... Um, well, high-carb diet, this is to do with a carbohydrate-dependent diet. So a high-carb diet increases, increases weight, but it decreases cholesterol and decreases LDL. And that's why people love it, because we're so focused on cholesterol and LDL. People say, you need a carbohydrate diet because it's going to lower your cholesterol and LDL. But if you look a bit further it also uh, lowers your HDL, which is your good cholesterol. Did you really want to lower the good cholesterol, the so-called good cholesterol? And the low-carb diet increases your triglycerides and worsens this ratio called the total cholesterol HDL ratio, which is the more powerful predictor amongst all of those measures there. It, it, high carb diets worsens the total cholesterol H, so it's a higher total cholesterol HDL uh, ratio. Whereas a fat, high saturated fat diet, yes, it increases cholesterol and it increases LDL. I'll go through the mechanism soon. It increases HDL and the net effect is an improvement in that highly predictive ratio, the total cholesterol HDL ratio. And people are starting to take a bit more notice about these other parameters because they're more predictive than the total cholesterol and the HDL. They've been stuck on the top line. And, and I have to apologise because labs still put cholesterol and, and LDL towards the top line and so people would naturally expect they must be the most important thing. But when I'm speaking to doctors and patients, I tell them to look at the bottom line because the bottom line is the bottom line. It's, it's where the information is.